ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Nothing else to ask. I'm hyped up. Ready. I'm giving you my title rematch. Yes. We only get one. Yeah. And I'm not wasting it on myself. I'm not using it all. It would be a waste because I would absolutely win. Oh, yeah. So, look, I'm going to manage you. I'm putting my health at risk. Not really. But, you know. But I'm going to help you any way I can. And you're going to walk out for your first ever heavyweight. All those titles you won before don't mean anything compared to the heavyweight title. Yeah. You're not anybody in here. You're not a main eventer. You're not a superstar. You're not a legend. You're not nothing unless you win the heavyweight title. Yes. You're back here, you let me down. So many times in the last couple of years, and you know it, right? Yeah. You know that you've let me down. Look me in the fucking eye. You let me down. Yeah. Say it. You let me down. I, I let you down, Rush. I let you down, Rush. All right. Sorry. Well, tonight you're not going to let me down. You're going to beat Humberto. You're going to take the heavyweight title. You're going to bring it back to the south side. We will be the first ever tag team to win the heavyweight. Both have the heavyweight title in the same year. And then when I get back, we'll have ourselves a friendly competition match. Yes. And we will keep the no, the title will stay on the south side forever. Either way. Yeah. Forever. Forever. But you got to gonna win tonight. Yes. You promise me. I promise. You're gonna win this match tonight. I'm gonna win this. Because I can't stand another loss from you. Okay. I can't take it anymore. Okay. You drive me insane. I know. All right, we're gonna do this. South side for life. Impressive throw. We're ready to go. How are you doing, Rush? I'm great. How are you, Mr. CJ Price? Disappointed that I lost another match. It's all right, man. It uh, takes a little while to get it going. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't become a superstar overnight. That only happened to me. Star. That only happened to me. No. You mean I no. disagree. I, I'm the last superstar. In Why don't you be a superstar commentator and call this with me here? Hammerlock by Anarchy, the Supreme Champion, working on former hybrid champion, the Bouncer. These two had a Supreme title match just uh, a show ago, and uh, Anarchy was able to get his first title defense. Over. Very nice. Let's it go, decides not to keep going with it. Anarchy ducks under. Another belly to back. And a hammerlock by the bouncer. Bouncer's definitely improved over the last couple of years, especially this year in 2011. He's got a couple of match the year contenders. In the last year, he's been tag team champion. Before that was the, they were uh, dismantled. He's also won the hybrid title. I consider back our bouncer to be the best hybrid champion we've had. And uh, he's looking to, you know, and he hasn't. Uh, been completely shunned by the, by losing that, that Supreme title match last week. He's not giving up. That's not Bouncer style. He doesn't give up. Never give up, never surrender. Never give up, never give up. Just like John Cena. You really just compared ah. Bouncer to John Cena? I'm just saying, that's what he says all Does the time. Does Bouncer have five moves to do? I don't think so. You wrestled the Bouncer a couple of times, you sure? I'm pretty positive he doesn't have five moves. Do you have five moves to do, CJ? No. I don't have five. I have five moves to do. What's so funny? I just think that's funny. <laughs> Top wrist lock applied by the bouncer, keeping Anarchy grounded. So who do you think is going to win this match? I, I don't predict. I'm not a gambler. I don't bet. You know what I mean? If you were looking at the odds today, uh, it's 2-1 to one for Anarchy because, wow, very fancy. Very athletic, very athletic. That's uh, impressive. <laughs> Never seen Bossa do that move. Ba I told you, Bouncer's getting a lot better. He's been getting better all year. He uh, got it close to a choke. The ref's got to keep an eye on that. Nice twist of the neck. 
looks painful. Absolutely. You see Anarchy's forehead getting red and the blood's getting cut off through all the twisting. Uh oh, and he sweeps the legs. And he's got a headlock in. He's starting to get it deep. He's working him over. Anarchy, uh, is, this is the most important championship he's ever won, the Supreme, beating uh, Aaron Douglas at Crossfire. Uh, that was an impressive win. Absolutely. Well, probably, if not the biggest win of Anarchy's WWE career. And now he has a big target on his back for that title. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you're going to get more people coming at you for the Supreme than even the Heavyweight, because the Heavyweight is a very uh, small class of people who challenge for that. So, oh. huge inside out clothesline by Anarchy actually hurt uh, his own arm doing that it because like it really hurt both men. <laughs> Turned him inside out. It was beautiful. That a bouncer is a clear cut heavyweight wrestler, you know, so uh, it's impressive to do it. Getting the flip like that. Stomps to the chest while holding his arm, so bring him up and stomp him right back down. Anarchy's uh, feeling that, still from the clothesline. And plus the top wrist lock that he kept on. He used the same arm for that, so that's why he's feeling it. What's he going for here now? You would think Anarchy is drunk. Some sort of a big boot to the chest. Similar to yours, your mafia kick, I'd say. Not as much speed, but a bigger boot coming, coming at your face. Very effective move. That's why I use it. Anarchy's been stringing together some pretty impressive wins. You did win the Supreme Invitational this year, which is a, you know the eight-man eight tournament to crown a uh, number one contender. Didn't beat Aaron in the first try, but but he was able to get himself a, a couple rematches nice and the super card. He made it made it count. He also beat Dave Dawson a few weeks a few shows ago, and that was a big win too. It's not tough to. Easy business beating Dave Dawson, as you know today, CJ. Yeah, he's a very tough guy. And uh, Bouncer's just stopping every body part, and he's going for the... Uh... Bouncer, you going to call it? No, he's not going to call it. He calls it the nigga stomp. And he... Oh, Anarchy got the rope. Smart move. Anarchy, very ring savvy. Yeah, very ring on this right there. It's important to have. If there's something you don't pick up, you're just not going to... You're going to cost yourself a match eventually with it. Maybe not today, maybe not next show, but down the road if you can't be aware of where the ropes are. Spend so much energy just trying to kick out, especially if the, the other person's heavier than you. Couple punches to the face. Exchanging blows right now. Not just, they're both wobbly. Duck to the line. Duck to his line. Another duck. No one's hitting anything right now. Oh, and a super, super kick. kick right to the ch uh, the chin, actually, of the of Anarchy. And it's got him ultra wobbly right now, but he's still not able to fall. Anarchy's a big man to uh, take down. I, I know Bouncer can do it. These guys have wrestled. Actually, Bouncer's first match in WWE was against Anarchy about just over six years ago. And he's blocking his Kamehameha that he likes to use. And he's trying to go for it again, and it's not working. And he's got the arm locked. And oh, Bouncer's got a full Nelson, Nelson, <laughs> Nelson uh, into his uh, face crusher he's trying to get. It's just not working. Anarchy looking for the DEFCON 6. And he got it. Knees right across the, the stomach. All over the chest. Into the cover. And he got it. Even more impressive of a match than uh, their last outing. Anarchy's on the road. Absolutely. Um, uh, Energy giving full marks to the bouncer for coming even closer to beat him. Energy stands it all with the Supreme title. Bouncer's clearly not happy with it. You know, he really feels like he could, you know, be able to, you know. Not to know that, I'm wondering if I'm the bouncer. You know what, I can understand that, but Eric is a little disappointed. Eric just wanted to be disappointed in going with a friend.